Hey guys, it's Pope and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't made a video in a hot minute. If you don't know this already, I am pregnant. I'm 14 weeks pregnant now and uh, it's been quite challenging trying to grow a human and the first trimester for me was actually pretty rough with morning sickness and being extremely exhausted. I also was in a really bad car accident. So when I'm 11 weeks pregnant, someone uh, drove right into the back of my car while they were texting, while I was stopped at a light, and totaled my car that I really liked and put me in the ER that night <laughs> and really gave me like the scare of my life because I was terrified something might have happened to the baby. Long story short, I ended up being okay, obviously, and the baby is perfectly fine. So that was a big relief, but it really knocked me on my ass for at least like 10 days. I felt just terrible from the whiplash. I had bad headaches and I was very stiff and I was in a very bad mood because it was just like a frustrating thing out of my control. And I actually was just then starting to feel better with like my first trimester growing pains kind of out of the way and then that happened. So it's just like a big setback and I didn't feel like vlogging in the middle of all of that because like I said, I was pretty grumpy. <laughs> but now that is all behind me besides shopping for a new car, which I'm not really looking forward to. Still driving around rental car right now. So I feel good that everything's okay but I'm also still kind of dealing with car wreck stuff but it's in the past enough that I felt ready to make another vlog for you guys. The focus of this video today is going to be talking about how I managed my training and lifting and just trying to stay fit in general during the first trimester because I've gotten so many messages from other women trying to figure out how to navigate their own fitness journey during the first trimester. It's super tricky because you feel terrible during the first trimester but it's encouraged for you to continue exercising or even start exercising if you weren't already by the doctors and the professionals in this field. So it's like this pressure on you to get to the gym while you feel like you're all time worse. And I was kind of struggling with that a little bit, especially in the beginning because I'm used to being in the gym like six days a week for like three hours at a time and like going hard. I'm used to pushing my body all the time and then all of a sudden I feel very lethargic all day long. I feel sick and nauseous all day long and it was just like a lot at once to adapt to. But I did end up finding a really good balance I think. I dropped my training down to three days a week and when my morning sickness was really bad I only trained maybe once or twice a week. and. When I was feeling super sick, I was just doing some like CrossFit Metcons and I was just trying to, you know, get my endorphins flowing mainly with those workouts. But as the weeks progressed, once I got past, I think right at nine weeks, I started to feel like pretty good again. I was able to add back in more lifting, which was great because that's the way that I like to do exercise. It was great to be able to like get back under a barbell. I was kind of like, it blew my mind a bit how many uh, like uneducated people were commenting on my Instagram on the first like couple videos I posted of me lifting while pregnant and they're like you shouldn't be doing that you should be on the couch or someone said that uh, uh, God was trying to tell me to stop exercising or something it was something really ridiculous <laughs> anyways it's just like I guess I have to say that that it is uh, doctor approved for me to do everything that I'm going to be doing in this video when you see my workout today. And nothing I'm doing is putting my baby or myself in any danger. This is all perfectly okay to do while you're pregnant. If you have negative feelings about that still, please just keep them to yourself. I have worked back up to four days a week of training now, which I'm doing three days in my home gym, like I always train, trying to do movements like back squat, front squat, clean pulls, push press, snatch, strict press, step ups. I was doing a lot of pull ups but um, around 12 weeks I started to get a very noticeable ab separation and my stomach was 
starting to cone and that is like a no-no while you're pregnant while the abs are separating to make room for the growing baby you don't want to put any added tension on those tissues that are already being stretched because it makes it a lot harder for them to fuse back together after delivery so if you don't want to end up with one of those big gaps down the middle of your abs and uh, it makes your stomach stick out as well after the baby you got to really look out for those signs of the coning and i was starting to feel the pressure and pain during pull-ups and so i videoed myself doing them and you could really see the ridge down the middle of my stomach so had to ditch pull-ups which i was a little bit sad about but it's okay we'll see those again in 2020. <laughs> i haven't been doing any snatch or clean and jerk because i started showing a lot sooner than the norm and so snatch became uncomfortable for me very quickly uh, where I make contact it was painful and uncomfortable so I decided that was like a no-no for me but I've been doing a lot of these other strength lifts which makes me feel good and is going to help me keep my muscle mass on and keep me in shape and also keep me sane because I love weightlifting and it helps me stay mentally stable and mentally tough and it's important for me to keep doing that even during this time period. Sometimes it does feel a bit boring because I'm not able to push my body like I normally can, but I just keep having to remind myself this is just a season. And uh, I'm also trying to not like resent it at all. I'm trying to really like embrace this period and uh, enjoy the changes to my body and try not to like be upset about it at all so when I'm feeling like bored I have to kind of like mentally reset and remember those things and know that it's all going to be worth it so this week my game plan is to try to get in three days of lifting and one day I am going to the Globo gym do things like the Stairmaster and the elliptical and work on a lot of the machines I liked using the machines last week because I was able to like do some of the strength movements broken down on the machines that I can't do with the compound movement now like in the gym. For example, like bench press, I can't do that because I can't get into my arch. But I was able to do like the chest press, which I had honestly never done that before and it was fun. And uh, that actually got me pretty sore. So that was like fun to push myself in a way that is safe and comfortable. So I'm just kind of figuring out as I go, but hopefully this video will give you guys some tips to help you along the way. And for my dudes watching, uh, maybe you find it interesting, hopefully. <laughs> I did find out what I'm having. Yesterday was my gender reveal party. It was so much fun. One, two, three, pop! So glad I did that with my family and friends and didn't find out in the doctor's office. It was a memory I'm going to cherish forever. It was really special and I was totally surprised to find out that I'm having a girl. I'm so excited I get to have a little girl. It's going to be just so much fun. I've been writing out my workouts for the week and hanging out with Charlie. Say hi, bud. <laughs> and I'm about to, wow, that's zoomed in. And I'm about to get warmed up for my workout today. I did snatch press at first, a few sets at 20 kilos, which is about what I would do if I wasn't pregnant. Um, my shoulder strength is one of my weaknesses. Then I did back squat and I worked up to a quote unquote heavy three. I'm not going to be talking in terms of percentages at all because I'm not in like good shape. So the percentages like don't mean anything really. So I'm kind of working off of like I'm going to do a medium heavy this or a 
No, Charlie. I'm gonna do like a medium heavy then. <laughs> Charlie, I'm trying to talk. So I'm just planning my workouts like I'm gonna do moderate sets of five on back squat or I'm going to work up to a heavy three on the clean pull and just kind of challenge myself, but of course not get to the point that I'm really straining my pelvic floor. That's kind of a key, especially on squats. So today I worked up to a heavy three, but that was like still pretty comfortable and moving quickly. It's kind of like the guideline I was giving myself. And it worked up to 84 kilos, and that's the most I've done in months. The most I've done since before I got pregnant. So I'm really happy with that because it moved well, and uh, it was challenging weight to where I'm like pushing myself, but not too hard. And yeah, it felt good to like work hard today. So squats went great. And then I decided to try some drop snatch, which is not one of my strong exercises regardless. So I kept those super light and stayed up to 40 kilos, did a couple sets of three, and that actually felt really well. And that's the only uh, dynamic movement I've done since I've been pregnant. And I was happy with how that felt. So maybe I can add in some more things like that now. And then finished up with those like ring rows style pull-ups, which were much harder than I expected them to be. <laughs> um, my lats are a little bit weak, my left lat in particular. And uh, yeah, those were a lot harder than I thought. So this didn't look that great. That wasn't very good form. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful or at least interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.